Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So it's day 21 of Ramadan, and I'ma just let y'all know, like right now I am a tad bit annoyed and <laughs> really just wanna go to sleep right now um, because since Ramadan started, this is the second day that I actually broke my fast early. Um, today I was just hungry and mind you, I had, I made a smoothie earlier today and when I don't eat breakfast, I'm not hungry. I don't understand. But anyway, so made a smoothie this morning for breakfast. I thought everything was good. Um, the smoothie is working because it makes you go to the bathroom. So the beats, all that great stuff is doing great. Oh, I might put some of, some of that in here. Okay, so what ended up happening was around 6.30, I was, like, starving. No, it was a little bit earlier than that. Anyway, so I, I went to sleep, right? Hold on, the brie wine. I made some cupcakes. I was making cupcakes for later. Fooled around and laid on the floor and fell asleep. Woke up hours later, okay? Cupcakes burnt up. That's the result, the ending of the cupcakes right there. Okay, so when I, I jumped up because I smelled something and I'm like, what is that? Meanwhile, okay, you were cooking. Um, cupcakes. Came in, cupcakes just as burnt as they want to be. And I take and flip the top off the cupcake because the top didn't look burnt and ate the cupcake, okay? So, okay, that ended that ended me there. Um, and also the other thing that happened is I went had to go to the doctor again today. So because these people keep like they they doing weird stuff. And I tried to tell them the other day when I was there that something else was supposed to be done. They didn't get the order. So meanwhile, back at band camp, I had to go back in today. So every time I gotta move around ridiculously too many, too much. So that could have been a thing also that there was a lot going on and, you know, either way, neither here nor there. So at this point, I'm about to take my first attempt and shot at making uh, my own flour tortilla. Uh, you see, I got shrimp there, so I'm going to make shrimp. Um, I don't know if y'all see that, but that is always sitting on my counter when I'm doing videos. So I make my own infused oil and that has just like a lot of different seasonings in it um a lot of different seasons and i just normally let it sit there so i'm gonna you know use a little bit of that in this pan but in here i have um so i'm making a spinach wrap basically have flour in here i have the spinach onion powder garlic powder and i have um two whole pieces of garlic in there so i don't know how this is going to work out but as of now honestly i just want to go to bed because today was just unacceptable okay <laughs> so here we go and we're gonna start with the flour tortilla i'm gonna chop this up i am using my bullet hopefully this works out and i'm gonna just put everything in here hopefully it blends properly and go from there so i want to use a little bit of this oil to cook it with so that way it should be tasty but either way y'all here we go Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see this, but I really didn't put too much water in it because I'm trying to get the spinach just to chop up. There is the garlic, and let's see what happens. So, Okay, so that looks like it's like really runny, right? Okay, so let's hopefully hope this works. Okay, so I'm gonna stick a little flour in there. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I want to at least be able to make two. I don't know. That looks like maybe one. I don't know. But let's stick some flour in here. I think it still needs to be a little runny, right? All right, so we're going to blend that and see what it looks like. Okay. All right, what does it look like to y'all? 
not i mean it looks ready but i think we need more water because i need more all right so let's see okay and then i'm gonna put more flour let me just put that whole thing in let's see what it looks like after this this looks freaking disgusting Okay, here we go. All right, what y'all think? Is it too runny? It's supposed to be thin, right? That looks really, really runny. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more flour in there, okay? Just to, I mean, that looks really, really runny. And like, I know we want it runny, but I don't think we want it that runny. Okay, what y'all think now? Let's see. Still a little runny. Let's see. I mean, it's still a little runny, but I think I'm gonna use it at this consistency just to see what, what happens, okay? All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of our oil. Put it in here, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And dump it in the pan, like that. Just to get a little wet. All right, so I don't like how that's frying already, but let's take it off a little bit. That's rosemary, as y'all see. And we're gonna take and put a little bit of this around there. Come on now, if we're going to circle. I need you a little bit bigger than this now. Okay, that thing green, green. Okay. Hopefully it's good, good. Look at this oil running around up in here. Okay, so it looks like the oil is all around it. I don't think I got like a good circle though, but I'm gonna flip it and see what it's looking like. Uh oh. One side of the sticking. Why are you sticking like that? Right, let's get this oil all around in here. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit because I had turned it down. That thing green, green. Uh-uh. Might not be as bad as I thought. It 
It looks horrible though, I ain't gonna lie to you. It, it definitely ain't done, it need to cook. But I think it might be, it might be working y'all. Y'all, I think it's really working. Uh-oh, y'all. Y'all. Y'all see them air bubbles? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, y'all. <laughs> Let me find out. Okay, I feel like maybe I should have left it the, the first thinness. But either way, it's cooking all the way through. So I think the first, the first, like it needs to be thinner, thinner. Okay. Let me find out. So I'm going to thinning up this, the little bit of batter, because I only got a little bit anyway. So I'm going to thinning that one up just a little bit, just to see what happens. Just a little bit. But either way, I'm liking my first attempt, my first try. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. Uh-oh. I think I was supposed to smash it. Smashing it has made it so much better. Look at that, check that out. Okay, I was messing up. I wasn't doing it right. I did see some people smashing it. Now look at it. I was getting the air out of it. Why y'all ain't tell me? Y'all just sitting here watching me do it like that. Come on, y'all. Okay, so there it go. Okay. So you gotta smash it. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all didn't tell me? Uh oh, now look at it blowing up. Oh man, so much, much better. Okay, so I had to get the liquid out of it. Next time, y'all better say something. me over here making homemade stuff. Y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing.
I'm trying to figure out how is it still noise? Like, as y'all see it keep bubbling up still even past that. All right, that's my first ever homemade spinach wrap, y'all. Okay. So I'm gonna put this one to the side. I feel very, very, very positive about this, okay? All right, there it go. Now, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil because I feel like you gotta have oil, okay? Now, I made this a little thinner. I put more water in it, so. We're going to see what happens. Although I don't know what's in there. Well, I don't want to go in a circle, though. Take it hot, come, huh? That's just the end of that. All right. So we're going to get this oil cir circling around this joint. Take it hot, come. Next time, I'll just make it as big as the paint. Call it a day. Okay, so now, I'm going to flip this joint. Yeah, I feel like the runnier version is the better version. So I'm going to make this pan a little greasy. Ow. Look at me, y'all. So I'm going to straight smash this one from the gate since. But it is thinner, so. I feel like this one's better. Don't play with me because tomorrow, um, tomorrow I might be using beats to, uh, Make a wrap. Okay. Ain't that funny? Y'all just heard what I said? I might be using beats to make a rap musician. Okay, never mind. That is going funny, huh? Okay. You got me there. All right, let's get you out from underneath here, though. I'm going to double this thing up. This one is definitely thinner. Can't move it around as much. It almost seems like you can tell when it dries because that one looks dry. This one's not dry yet. This is a little more flimsier. Still a little moist though, you can tell. I don't know, I think the thicker version might be better, but. Hey, no. How it work? Hey, Aunt Shay. Hey, how are you? In here trying to make my first spinach wrap ever, doing a YouTube video. <laughs> It's coming out pretty good, I think, so far. Yeah, it's pretty good, to be honest. All right, y'all, look at me. Look at me. Okay. 
I don't like that that happened though, but I mean, we're gonna work on through it. It actually tastes really good though. Y'all see me, see me over here trying to make it into a real circle though. Either way, it don't look the prettiest, but I honestly think that my first time was a success. And I didn't put no salt in here or nothing. It was just spinach, garlic, water, and flour, okay? So, that's that. Now, I'm going to put my shrimp in this pan. And we can already see how this work out, okay? So, I got that right there. Get some butter and some garlic. All right, we got garlic powder. Let me get some regular garlic for y'all. All right, that's garlic in there. That's uh, butter in there. I'm gonna put some obey in there. Okay. Hold on. And um. Uh, Onion powder. Let's some of the hot sauce, please. A little onion powder. Again, we're gonna get this thing together. Look, you ready to try my wrap, y'all? All right, go ahead, try it, and tell me how it tastes. Well, uh -huh. well, we're going to see how it tastes on the shrimp, so I guess yeah. I got to share with you. You don't taste like nothing. Yeah. Exactly. But it tastes like it's it like good, something. right? <laughs> it is. It's the weirdest thing ever. It tastes like nothing, but it tastes like because it's that spinning. That's wild. I think I'm going to try one with some beef still. Can you give me hot sauce, please? Nope, this is it. I'll give you a piece. Actually, I'll give you one. So you so don't, don't, don't got no more in the egg. Uh, oh, it, it might be a bag. It's a whole brand new bag and uh, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. I know, I was about to say. I forgot. I keep forgetting I'm having stuff. I mean, you know that's a really all I be eating today. <laughs> And y'all know, first of all, you, uh, no, that ain't it. No way, Jose. That is not it. First things first, you know I can't have shrimp without this. That's one. Let's add some of that. And then, the other thing is you've been watching me in here cooking. What's the, what's the next thing? Because I swear by it. So if you don't know, then you ain't been here long this thing right here let me tell you that golden powder and i like my shrimp a little dark so i gonna just cut this heat down and off basically
Let me tell y'all. Little lemon and a little lime. Listen. I told y'all I was about to go to bed because I had just had a rough day, right? But this right here might be making my day better. All right, I'm gonna take the first one because I think I want it thicker. Either way. Well, I'm gonna make both of them. How about that? So that way, I'm gonna let my son try it. So I'm gonna make both of them. So first things first, I'm gonna put some lettuce on these things. Where'd my lettuce go? I just had, oh. Okay, so we have lettuce. All right, I'm gonna put the shrimp on. Okay, we got the shrimp on both plates, okay? I'm gonna add some cilantro. All right, they both have cilantro. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese. Cheese. And they both have salsa. Okay, and I'm gonna add some sour cream to mine right now. Okay, I added sour cream to mine. He's not here yet, so I'm gonna wait, but I must give lime on him. I'm gonna put a little lime juice on these things, on these bad boys. Okay, and then all right. So yeah, I I told you I'm a sauce person, so I like sauces. Let's see how this thing wraps up. <laughs> Ow! Let's <laughs> check me out. Okay, let's see what it tastes like though. Okay, so, first things first, does it hold up to all this stuff that's in it? Yes, it does. Holds up to the weight and everything. Ow. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm. Listen, check that thing out. I ain't buying no more wraps. Mm -mm. I promise you, I'm not. Mm -mm. So that was my first time making that. So y'all already know I took the recipe several times. from here. Listen, that thing good. I'm gonna just let y'all know right now. Mm -mm -mm. Look, you know when you know when somebody pull up their sleeve when they eating. That's about to get serious. Mmm. Okay, I'm happy. So when Romeo comes in, I'll let him try his and let y'all know what it tastes like. But I ain't got no complaints. 
I'm gonna start with right now. Homemade is definitely where it's at. Thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go with God. Mm -mm -mm. What's your take on it? It's good. It's, um, the tortilla is really good. From how you made it, it's really, really good, to be honest. I'll give it to you. Oh, you give it to me, okay. That's what I said. I'm, I ain't buying no more. I'm making them all from here on out. That works. So what's your rating on my, on my taco? Everything. I'm going to give you a 10. Okay. <laughs> I got a 10. Everything is made. Basically from scratch. Okay. You ain't just saying that because you're my son, are you? No. That was good. No, I agree. Because I was thinking the same exact thing. You lucky you came in here and caught me and I had to share it with you because, listen, it would have been gone by the time you got back. I know. <laughs>